climbing the Callan Head in the count. He stayed down. He nibbled. He lived on the edges uh, with the sinker. John Presbury with Dova in the first seven. Um, he was really good tonight. Again, um, and, we, and that's the guy that you know we think we're sending out there every time he goes out. Still recording this funny game. Well, it's Karen's okay. turn. As I said, I don't want these guys to try to make up for the other guy. They can't do that. But we expect him to pitch at a high level. All right, so let's talk a little about the decision-making in the ninth inning there. Now, David Robertson, in a way, if he's a little reticent to use him back-to-back -back or too much, is he the whole pitcher that they need to count on in the bullpen? Right, they did it once before against the Mets Saturday and Sunday. Then he had a few days off. Wait for Karen to roll. She's just off. stalling he sitting there. Him out there for an entire inning. He made it sound as if he got the out that he would let him come in and get As Karen knows, the, the next roll would probably end her feet. No, she survives again. Doing a very good job here at ducking my... Uh, Huge monopolies. Now we talked about that on the home run. That pitch was only 90 miles an hour. And David Robertson can be a lot more than that with his fastball. So, kind of I just rolled 12. Let's get a tax review. Still has a third green available. Uh, Karen has the first two. She'd get another monopoly, possibly. But I don't think that really matters at this point. This squash of a game. I just built another house on Boardwalk. You heard the sound. We are waiting for Karen's turn. It used to be easy to do Soriano. Robertson in the eighth, Mariano in the ninth. They each face three batters, let's say, in a perfect scenario. Maybe he just can't do that now. Right. I think the one, the biggest thing has changed, obviously, is there's no Mariano Rivera back there. He didn't have Soriano today because he had pitched four of his last five. I think he was trying to get a piece of that ninth inning that would not have to be on David Robertson's shoulders because, as he said, he's being cautious with him. Boy, that there you go. On you. And Robertson is the guy who has been your pseudo closer. Karen owes me a little 50 bucks for the railroad. Not much. We got a lot more to talk about. Rob, I remind you, coming up at Apple's post game show, it's the premiere of GMC Presents Center Stage. And Michael Case is the I'm going to auction this. Bid 200. His career, his roots in broadcasting, with his dad being such a famous broadcaster, and much more. That's coming up right after this post game. And when we come back on the WB Mason post game, Jack and I have the full game highlights for you because, as we said, a variety of twists of fate in this game. So they tour the Yankees for most of the game, but then tour the White Sox at the end. Also, the action for Ramona. I got the railroad for 200, which is what it's worth. My turn again. Fuck some money. Here we go, Karen's turn. And she survives yet again. Wait, she owes me uh, 250 though for that house. That's a good thing. Let's build another house. So I got three houses on the blues, four houses on the orange, hotels on the browns. <laughs> Shouldn't be long for Karen. Well, she has some Dystonia in her. She should lose. I'm going to build another house here. Two hotels in the orange. There we go. Six, eight, or nine, and Karen is done. A five, and she's hurting badly, but can still survive. So four numbers that really hurt Karen in this roll. As she stalls, waiting for the... And she survives again, but maybe just temporarily. A three would hurt her. A four would kill her. A six would kill her. And now she'll just get the three. So she now has to mortgage the last yellow. Oh, she's still got a light blue, too. She's got two properties left. So she will survive again. Karen taking her sweet time here. There's a mortgage. I didn't look into it carefully yet. I don't know. What, what, what did you get that information from? Oh, it probably is a scam. Then. That probably is a scam. She's in the basic. White Sox. No. This isn't fair. I want to start again after I was booted. Yeah, crushed. How's that? How's that? How's that? 
Good. Where's your park? No sense? Parked in that uh, parking lot for the uh, Vance on Park. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Anybody else you know? All right. Losing to the Angels 9 to 7. Detroit over Tampa Bay 5 to 2. Boston is out in Seattle. They're just underway. As are the Mets against the Dodgers in Los Angeles. And the Pirates beat the Phillies 5 to 4. <coughs> we jump to our game highlights now, courtesy of Lincoln, as always. White Sox beat the Yankees? We begin top what? First. Yeah, White Sox won. Ninth inning. No, he pitched today. He's tired from yesterday. Remember yesterday he went wild? They mixed and matched. He used like three different guys. That's the guy at the home run of the ninth, too. That same guy. Yeah. I didn't see the first one. He hit one later. The last name is similar. It's confusing. Karen trying to offer me a tree. Can't offer me a crappy deal.
Thanks to Karen, good game. See what she says, her reaction is to that. And there's no reaction. <laughs>